So if you're watching this video, chances are that you're probably a Fortnite fan, because let's be honest, that's basically the only thing my channel is known for. However, I doubt many of us, despite playing the game frequently, have ever thought about the future of the game. I mean, when I played 3 years ago, I never thought I'd still be playing the game as much as I am now in 2021. And since many people wrote off Fortnite's initial success as a fad that wouldn't last, it is still surprising for many that it still remains a relatively popular game years later. And a lot of us may not think that we'll still be playing Fortnite years into the future, but there's a strong possibility that we will be. And that got me thinking, what will Fortnite look like in the future? If the game continues to have a healthy player base, how will the game evolve? What will it look like in a year? 5 years? 10 years? It's entirely possible. In this video, I'll be taking a look at different scenarios that could happen based on how Epic Games is currently running the game. I want this to be as realistic as possible, so I'll back up my predictions with the reasons why I think this could happen. So without further ado, this is what I think the future of Fortnite will look like. As we all know right now, the story of Fortnite Battle Royale has taken the front and center role when it comes to the game. In Chapter 1, the story was something which happened in the background, only implied through loading screens and teasers. Most people thought that it was just random stuff Epic came up with to justify a segue into the next season. But since Chapter 2, it's been clear that Epic wants the story to be the front and center of the game. Ever since the live event of Chapter 2 Season 2, they've been putting a lot more thought and lore into the story of the game, and according to creative director Donald Mustard, this is intentional. In an interview, he says that Fortnite's story was always an integral part of the Battle Royale, and the story has been planned since the beginning. However, it's not like other conventional stories. Rather than having a typical protagonist and three-act structure, the Fortnite storyline is described as something similar to a campfire tale, where you have a start and end goal, but the middle of the story is mostly improvised with some story beats planned beforehand. So if the story is that important to the game, it's not far-fetched to extrapolate that the game as we know it will be changed once the story ends. The only thing to ask now is when the story will end. If you ask during the last chapter, I'd say the story was going at such a slow pace that it would probably never end up finishing. However, in the recent seasons, the pacing of the story has gotten much faster, so I wouldn't be surprised if it ended at Chapter 2 Season X. However, I doubt they'd finish it that soon, so I can see Epic doing a Chapter 3 as kind of a grand finale to the story after all the pieces have been set up in Chapter 2. It also gives Epic a way to continue stretching out seasons and keeping people invested in the game. Now, the only thing we have to ask is how long Chapter 3 would take. Chapter 1 took 2 years to complete, but the seasons in Chapter 2 seem to be longer. However, let's say that the average for every season is around 2-3 to three years, which means that Chapter 3 will end around 2024-2026. However, I do think they have plans for the game after this. Let's move on to the next scenario. This scenario is going to be pretty short. Basically, the gist of this is that after the story ends, we're going to be getting updates that are purely content as well as some cosmetic additions. There won't be any theme to the update, just content. While they could add new weapons, I could see Epic updating the game every two weeks to switch up the loot pool bring back old weapons to keep the gameplay somewhat fresh. However, there probably won't be new seasons or a new battle pass, since this would be too much effort to put in a game a lot of people probably won't be invested in, as well as the fact that the story will most likely be over at this point. Remember, this will be around 3-5 to five years in the future. At this point, I can see Fortnite still having a decent player base, but not as big as it is right now. Therefore, it would make sense for Epic to still make changes for those playing, but not put too much effort into it. I think this is likely the last stage to happen before Fortnite dies out, but I also think Epic will try to prolong this, or at least introduce something to balance the situations of this scenario. Let's move on to Scenario 3. So for a game called Fortnite Battle Royale, it seems bizarre for me to say that Epic will move the game past Battle Royale and do something else. However, I do have evidence of this happening, and I actually think that this is very likely to happen. But first, we have to talk about another game that survived using a similar method, Minecraft. Now, Minecraft started off as a survival sandbox game. 
but Mojang, the developers, also offered players the tools to be able to make it much more. They added multiplayer, which even when just combined with a survival game, still gives countless hours of entertainment and content, as seen by Hermitcraft, other SMPs, and even Dream's Manhunt series. The reason why I emphasize content so much is because this is an important factor for the longevity of a game in the modern era. Minecraft had a bunch of different genres of content on YouTube and other platforms, and these genres trended at different times. This allowed Minecraft to stay fresh for over a decade. Let's take a look at how this was possible. So I already talked about how Mojang gave their game the versatility for different types of play, and I gave the example of multiplayer. However, this isn't even the tip of the iceberg. Creative mode and command blocks are really what allowed the game's versatility to shine. And we can't forget about Mojang making the game's source code public. This allowed players to create their own mods, which was a game changer, literally. Creative mode and command blocks allowed players to create maps and minigames. All of these went past Minecraft's core gameplay mechanic of just gathering materials and survival, but they allowed the game to reach a much wider audience. After the original craze of survival Minecraft died down, the new craze was that of mods and minigames. Mods such as the Aether, Twilight Forest, and Lucky Blocks were some of the most popular mods back then, and many of us look back on them with nostalgia. They really expanded the game to new possibility, and those new possibilities not only attracted new players, but they kept existing players playing as they offered a fresh twist in the Minecraft gameplay. Minigames, specifically multiplayer minigames, were also very popular back then. The ones that most people played back then was the survival games and cops and robbers. And nowadays, mods and minigames are still popular. I mean, mod reviews are one of the most popular Minecraft genres now. And those videos of people surviving 100 days hardcore with certain mod packs are also blowing up. And minigames such as Bed Wars and Sky Wars are keeping entire servers alive with how many people play them. And finally, we have adventure maps. Adventure maps have actually died down now, but around 2014 to 2017, in what could be called Minecraft's Dark Ages, adventure maps were very popular. I think this is a shame because I remember watching YouTubers like Lag.Zip play adventure maps, and honestly, they are some of the best experiences Minecraft has to offer. Adventure maps are custom experiences often with their own self-contained stories, and they were honestly amazing. Stuff like The Wall 2, Simplicity, and Terra Swoop Force, as well as parkour maps are so nostalgic to me, and I hope map making becomes popular again because all of them were top notch. So sorry about going on this kind of tangent. The reason why I went into detail about the different phases of Minecraft was because I wanted to show how the diversity in gameplay allowed Minecraft to not only survive over the course of a decade, but also thrive. By allowing different types of game modes to be created, Minecraft extended its lifespan. I think Fortnite can do the same thing, and I think that they're even trying to do this now. Fortnite introduced creative mode a while back, and they also implemented more features to make it easier for users to start making their own minigames. Obviously, there aren't as many options for minigame creators to make games in Fortnite, as the tools for making Fortnite minigames are more restricted than the tools for making Minecraft's minigames. But Epic is supporting these people. Community created minigames are now a permanent part of the mode select screen, meaning Epic is paying attention to the games the community makes and is encouraging people to make more. They are also offering incentives for people who play these modes, like free cosmetics. Also, leakers have said that Epic plans to add full-blown modding support soon, meaning that people can be even more creative with how they make minigames within Fortnite. People have already created some amazing games and adventure maps within Fortnite, so with Epic giving them more versatility in the future, who knows what amazing things the community will make. Epic isn't just letting the community make new game modes, however, they're making their own. This is shown through the newest LTM they released, called The Impossible Escape. Rather than being the typical battle royale game that Fortnite usually releases, this is more of a survival game. You have to survive attacks by wild animals and scavenge for missing helicopter parts in order to repair a helicopter to escape the island. You can team up with other people, or you can fight them for a spot on the chopper. Overall, this is something that strays far away from the norm from Fortnite, but they also put a lot of effort and polish into it, and they clearly want us to play it. They made a whole trailer for the LTM as well as an introductory cutscene and even a win umbrella for winning the game the LTM. The only time Fortnite has done win umbrellas for limited time modes before were for crossover LTMs, so this is definitely a first. 
I think that everything I said here shows a trend. Fortnite is definitely putting more emphasis on minigames and game modes which are not a battle royale. I believe they want to start diversifying their game now, so in the future they can brand Fortnite as not just a battle royale, but as a hub for all sorts of games. I mean, take a look at Party Royale. This is a game mode that can't even really be called a game, as it is more like a hub for players to hang out and chill. However, this is one of the most popular modes of Fortnite which shows that there is a demand for non-battle royale. Something like this can extend Fortnite's lifespan by a lot. Even if people get tired of battle royale, other game modes can keep people playing. I mean, I already know people who play Fortnite just for specific creative mode minigames, and I think the number of people doing this will increase as creative minigames become more popular. I can see a future where Epic fosters a community-based effort to add different game modes to Fortnite, similar to how Minecraft does all those servers with different minigames. This is, I think, one of the best paths for Fortnite to go down, since it not only will increase the lifespan of the game, it will also provide different experiences for players as well as an opportunity for minigame creators to shine in their spotlight. However, the most likely scenario, in my opinion, is the next one. So here it is, the last scenario, the one which I think has the greatest chance to happen, all of the above. That's right, I don't really think any one of them can occur in a vacuum, and in fact, the way I outlined each of them makes them perfect to work with each other. Fortnite will eventually end their battle royale story, and after that they will create a post story version of battle royale, with updates that are purely for gameplay without any theme, season, or story. While this is happening, Epic will start pushing more non-BR game modes, as well as enabling community members to make their own increasingly complex game modes. So by the time Battle Royale's story ends, we'll have a plethora of creative game modes and maps with a healthy player base to take the lead, while BR takes the back seat. And it is this balance between minigames and the regular Battle Royale where Fortnite will settle down for the long run. I think that this, ultimately, is what the future of Fortnite looks like. But hey, in all likelihood, I'm probably off with my predictions. But no matter what, I hope Fortnite does have a long and healthy life, as this game has given us a lot of fun times, and I hope it will continue to do so for long into the future. No matter what Epic does with the game, I'm sure it will end up being fun for people. And that's all I have to say. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And remember to use code RIVETCHA in the Fortnite item shop to support me further. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon.